if anyone wanted to have any more reason as to why I do not feel bad for the Asian community, you're about to find out. But before I get into this, shout out to j Dog because he actually sent me a link to his video talking about this topic right here. And I'm going to leave the link to his video down in the description so you can see what he has to say because we're pretty much echoing the same points at this point. So the Grammys aired this past Sunday. I didn't watch it. I'm kind of over award shows, to be quite honest with you. Like, they're so predictable. And then it's like, you know, they had to restructure the show due to woo it and everything like that. I mean, they did the best they could with what they had. Because I thought it was going to be a complete virtual kind of thing. But they, let's put it this way. They're transitioning by, that by the time this time next year, hopefully, they can have more of a produ bigger production like before in previous years. But that's besides the point, because what I'm on here to talk about is Blue Ivy winning a Grammy. They said she is the second youngest person to win a Grammy. Now, in case y'all don't know what she won a Grammy for, she did a collaboration with her mother for this song that was on the Blackest King. Uh, I guess you could say documentary soundtrack. It was an, it was it was connected to. um. Lion King, because you know Beyonce did the voice of Nala in the live action Lion King remake, which in my opinion wasn't that good, but it is what it is. But she did a collaboration where she sung a couple of lines in this song called Brown, uh, Brown Eye, was it called Brown Skin? I was about to say Brown Eye Girl. I was thinking of a Tevin Campbell song, Brown Skin Girl, which of course a lot of people said was one of their favorite songs off of that album. And um, she won. A Grammy for it. And apparently she was in a category with some K-pop group. And we know the K-pop groups are mainly Asian culture vultures. Let's just call it what it is. And you had some people in the Asian community get up in arms about it. And I'm about to show you. Well, we see one tweet right here. And I'm going to show you another one, too, that just, is just as bad. So this person whose name is K KBS Poop said BTS, which is the name of the group, did not pave the way for someone like Blue Ivy to win a Grammy before them. I'm trying to figure out who did they pave the way for. I'm trying I'm trying to figure this out because I don't listen to K-pop. I don't. This is a complete and utter joke. Xenophobia at its finest. BTS Grammy. Hold on. How is a little girl winning a Grammy considered xenophobia? This is worse than when Palm Colored cries reverse racism. What the actual, what are they actually trying to get across here? I don't get it. Xenophobia, really? Imagine that. Imagine you were mad at a little girl that much that you actually try to throw xenophobia on her. She probably doesn't even know what the xenophobia is or you probably even how to spell it. But she, you know, they mad at her because of a decision that was out of her control. Okay, fine, whatever. But they're reaching with that xenophobia. But wait till you see this one. This one is worse. This person whose name is Jace Thaley, whatever, they responded to that previous tweet. And this person said, how did the biggest group in the world lost? And they said lost instead of lose over that little black ape. I can't stop shaking. This is not fair. My boys was robbed. I hope they are okay. This bitch referred to a little girl who did nothing to her or to them and referred to her as a little black ape. Ask me again why I don't feel bad for the Asian community. Ask me again. And this has nothing to do specifically with um them saying this about blue ivy this could have been about anybody but the fact of the matter is they're coming at a girl they're coming at a little girl a this little girl who's just out here trying to live her best life because you know she um well it mainly due to her parents and they are upset about that imagine you a grown-ass person being mad at a child over something like this Referred to her as a little black ape. I want to know from all the black people who like watching uh, 
these K-pop groups and whatnot. What is their take on this? Because believe it or not, there are quite a few pe black people who watch K-pop. And I don't know why, because like I said, they are nothing but a bunch of culture vultures. They literally eat off of what black people created and then they get all this praise and recognition for it. Then they'll try to say, no, it's not. It's, the, there, it's their own thing. Bullshit. No, it's not. Like if you look at K-pop and look at a lot of the musical groups from back in the day or probably even more recent times, it's the same exact thing. I remember I saw it was some Asian artist. Now, this video was from a few years ago where he literally bit off of Omarion's entire style during the whole Icebox era of his music, which was back when I was in like high school. So you're talking about like, I think that was like 06, 07. And you're talking about doing, it looked almost exactly the same. Like singing style, he wore the braids, he had the tank top, the baggy jeans, like literally from head to toe, he looked like an Asian Omarion, but then have the nerve to say that it was original. They act no different than the cult, than the colonizer that has given them a proverbial pedestal to stand on. going to sit up there and actually call this girl a little black ape now they know what that means now if we was to come at them and make fun of them and call and refer to them as a derogatory term then they'll be saying it's xenophobia and it's racism and it's anti-asian discrimination because you know they've been leaning heavy on that for the last couple of weeks but you know it, then they'll come back and say that they're this and that they're that. But then you see and come across tweets like this and you figure, you know, otherwise. Like I said, that little girl didn't do nothing to them, ex you know, except just be out here living her best life and, you know, uh, just doing her thing at just a very young age. She can't help that she was born into wealth. She can't help that those are her parents. But they met over uh, their favorite group losing to her and this is how they responded but like i said this is why you will not see me rallying for any of their causes and that's why you will not also see me throwing myself into that poc category you won't find me doing it that like i said poc people of color that terminology just grinds my gears at this point it's pointless. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you have not done so already, make sure that you text the number that is pinned down in the comments below so you can receive notifications every time I upload a new video.